Okay, so this is the 3D printer all set up. Right now I'm running some Python software called Pronterface. This is what's interfacing with the printer right now. This is the output. You can see that it's telling the printer exactly what to do, what temperatures, and what code to print. Um, the code is called G-code. It's coordinates so that the printer knows where to lay down the plastic. And I'm printing G-code for a rooster. And I chose a rooster as a test print just because it's a pretty complex print and it should give us a good idea of the surface area and the resolution that the printer can provide. And I'm printing it at 0 0.2 millimeter slices with a 0 0.3 millimeter extrusion nozzle. And there's the printer. It's about three feet wide and two feet deep. The total print envelope is 12 by 12 by 12. And there's the rooster coming to life. Kind of looks like surface mountain topography. And there's the hot end laying down the plastic. Those sounds you hear are the stepper motors um, operating at different intervals um, based on the coordinates it's being sent to lay down the plastic. There's a little fan there blowing air onto the hot end to increase the glass temperature. And this heated bed is at about 113 degrees Celsius. The secondary reading says 120 degrees Celsius. The 240 degrees is the melting temperature of the extruder and the plastic being extruded through the hot end. And right now I'm going at 76% normal speed just because it's a more complex print and I don't want any sudden movements to to wreck the print. This uh, white layer on top of the glass that's a mixture of ABS plastic dissolved in acetone and what that does is gives it a nice sticky surface for the print to stick to as it's being printed. There's the microcontroller, just temporary, tr temporarily labeled up. And these three switches control power to the different components. So this controls power to the motors, this is the secondary heat bed, and this is the primary heat bed, um, and the hot end. So for example, if I wanted to turn off the heat bed that's on right now, just like that. Um, there's two more lights underneath just for decoration to indicate that the bed is on and it's hot. It's very hot. I'm going to try and set up the time lapse just so you can see the, um, the final print. It's going to be a while before it finishes. And that's it. Hopefully be printing some cool stuff. It's not quite finished yet. I'm going to be adding some panels around the enclosure to keep the heat in. I'll add a few more things to it. It's looking pretty good so far. Turn on the time lapse.
And there it is. There's the rooster. Maybe not a hundred percent perfect, but more than adequate for what I need. And that's how you turn plastic filament into an object.